over the weekend, we got a big announcement. Coach Prime, Deion Sanders, announced at Colorado, and instantly the college football world was buzzing. I spoke to a source at Colorado that tells me that since Sunday morning, more than 200 recruits or portal transfers have reached out to the program, some of them being four- and five-star caliber players. The source told me, quote, I've never seen anything like this in my time here, end quote. Sam, is Dion going to be able to compete for some of the top players in the country this year, next year? What do you, what's your opinion on Dion at Colorado? Yes, and yes, and yes. Um, I think first he's going to make a, an instant impact in the transfer portal. Um, you know, from talking to, to high school coaches from some kids around the country that completely, you know, not involved, maybe they are committed or signed or, or they might be current college players. They just have a, a connection to Dion or recruited or heard stories in and out. Um, and there's there's a, a feeling that kids kids relate to Dion Sanders, his, his energetic, um, charismatic coaching style. That that just resonates with kids that in this age group, in this generation. Um, and, and sure, you know, Colorado isn't the Alabama or Ohio State or Georgia of the world where, you know, sometimes the program sells itself. But if you have the opportunity to play for Deion Sanders, who not only brings that charisma that we just spoke about, but, you know, I think he brings a lot of NIL potential because he's featured on NFL Network and he's an endorser for, for several big time brands around the country. Um, that's what kind of got the hype around Jackson State to be. Uh, a thought to a reality. And I think he's going to do the same at Colorado. I don't think it'll be instant, but I think transfer portal, like you mentioned, is already going to become a hot destination. Monday is the first day that they can start getting offers. And I'd expect that to happen pretty quickly because Dion has, I think, been putting together the staff for a couple of days already before he even took the job. So he's ready to hit the ground running like he did at Jackson State when he flipped Travis Hunter, as you know. Um, and at this point, I do think he'll be recruiting at a higher level. Maybe at this time next year on this show, we'll be talking about them in contention for four or five stars, some of the best uncommitted and committed guys in the country. Yeah, Dion brings it all. He's a very unique hire because you don't see a lot of these guys come with everything that Dion comes with. He comes with the hype. He comes with the culture. He comes with the players. He comes with the coaching staff. He, Speaking of players, I mean, at Dion's press conference, he introduced Colorado to their next starting quarterback. So that kind of brings us to the transfer portal. Shador Sanders, the quarterback at Jackson State and Dion's son, was literally introduced at the press conference. Um, so like you said, I think the staff, has been being worked on behind the scenes for the last couple of days. I think some of these transfers that are going to come with them have been being worked on for the last couple of days. I'm hearing that there could be up to 10 players that come with Dion from Jackson State. Obviously, Shador Sanders is one. Now, this isn't necessarily inside intel from Travis Hunter's camp, but just talking to several college coaches from around the country, I fully expect Travis Hunter to – be at Colorado. It's not really a question of if in my mind, it's more of a question of when. And if you think that the hype is at a, at a peak right now, just wait till Travis Hunter's in Boulder, Colorado. Um, <laughs> it's going to be fun. The transfer portals hop in starting today. We've already seen USF speedster, Jimmy Horn, who's in the transfer portal is one of the fastest wide receivers in the country. Just moments after Dion's press conference, he was already naming Colorado among <laughs> his top four. Uh, are there any other names, Sam, that you've seen out there that, Hey, you think might have a connection or just be a good fit at Colorado? Yeah, well, one name that just caught my mind, given that Dion was also a high school coach in DFW for some time, I think that he has those longstanding connections, and, and Shadur, for that matter, a quarterback who was, you know, won a state championship at the TAPS level in DFW. Terrell Tillman is from Mansfield. He's from Oregon. He put his name in the transfer portal last night. That's definitely a, a regional connection to, to keep an eye on, because um, I think Dion's going to sell these guys on playing and playing early, like you mentioned. Um, he wants to restock the roster with ready to play now players. Um, but but thinking about it, you know, being at Jackson State, he's recruited at a national level this past year. And I think, you know, you're going to see names from Atlanta. You're going to see names in Florida. You're going to see names in Texas. And you're going to see some of these four and five star guys like Winston Watkins at IMG Academy um, committing to play for Dion and, and hitting in the transfer portal. Those, 
I think we're just starting to see the names. It's still early on Monday. We've already seen a ton over the weekend. Trying to keep track is insane. And I think today the floodgates are about to open. Yeah, how about that? Winston Watkins goes down as Deion Sanders' first commitment. Now, he's a 2025 prospect. An elite prospect doesn't have a ranking yet, but will be most likely in that four-star, high four-star range when it when it starts the uh, 2025 rankings. Uh, you mentioned Texas, California. Do you think that Dion's going to really be able to get in there right away and compete against Texas, compete against a And M, compete against TCU for some of these top prospects? I think it'll take a little bit of time at the high school level. Um, You know, because he's in Colorado, I am most curious to see how he goes out and recruits in the West Coast. Um, The Pac-12 is is at a really high point right now with obviously USC and Utah just played in the Pac-12 championship. And Oregon is is a contender under Dan Landing and Washington seems to be on the up and up. Um, So I'm curious to see how Dion fares out West. But I do think obviously he has a lot of ties in the South, in the state of Texas. I think, like, like like you mentioned, some kids are putting Colorado in their top four or five, and that, that's usually how it starts. Um, it takes a couple of dominoes to fall, and if Travis Hunter makes that decision, if Winston Watkins holds his commitment and a few pieces along the way, momentum quickly catches. It's very infectious in recruiting. Um, and I think players are going to want to play for Dion. They're going to want to play for a coach that's like that. Um, we are in a different era, so it would be curious to see how Colorado gets their NIL Mm-hmm. Um, secured to to compete with the big guns around the country. But I think Dion offers a lot in that department in himself. And I think he wouldn't have went to Colorado if there wasn't a plan in place. So I think Colorado will be getting four-star recruits. I think they'll be putting themselves in the top group for a lot of these blue chippers in the, on 300. And I think first and foremost, they're going to start kicking butt on the transfer portal. All right. Well, Sam, you and I, we're going to keep covering Colorado recruiting. It seems fun. We should make a trip out there, man. I hear it's great. All right, on your dime. All right, let's move on to another hot topic. Thank you for watching. Make sure you smash that subscribe button for me. And remember to check out all the videos on the On3 YouTube page.